go. Well, uh, his his uh, half dozen we are going to uh, exercise to stretch out your hips. The first one's called a pigeon. So you're going to take your knee into the middle of your chest, um, about 90 degrees. Knee should be roughly in the middle of your chest. Hands just wide and shoulder width apart. And then you're going to sink into your bottom and lift your chest up. Really lift up through your sternum. And once you're there, take a deep breath in and really try to sink into the back of your hip. And it should feel a nice stretch through your, through the, uh, through your glute. Um, stretching out your rotators and the glutes. Deep breath in and each breath out, really try to relax into it. Let your body accept the stretch. Beautiful. The next one is a hip flexor stretch. So we're gonna move on to your hip flexor, roughly 90 degrees at each knee. And the key here is to really tuck your tailbone under, squeeze your glute, squeeze your tummy, one hand on your knee, then you're gonna stretch up and over. And you should feel like you're getting a nice stretch through the front of your hip, creating space at the front of the hip. And with each breath out, grow a little bit taller. And again, just let your body accept the stretch. Beautiful. Progressing that on, we've then got our Spider-Man. So you can take both your hands down to here. So the first level of this one is just coming into this position. You, you get a pretty good bang for your buck with this exercise. You get a nice stretch through the right glute and through the left hip flexor. If you want to progress that, we can go a little bit more advanced and straighten out the back leg. Um, really try to straighten out the leg, keep low, avoid, try and avoid lifting your hips up, keep your hips low. And then from there, we can add in a rotation and really stretch out the upper back as well as through the hips. And you can do half a dozen of them. Beautiful. Moving onto your groins, we've got the frog stretch. So in this position here, take your knees as wide apart as you feel comfortable. You can play around with it. The wider you go, the bigger stretch you'll get. Hands a little bit further forward, and then you're gonna really sit your bottom back towards your heels. Think about poking your bottom out as far as you can, but keep your chest up, keep your chest nice and high, and then coming back up. Avoid sinking down through your chest, uh, and avoid arching your back too much. So keep everything nice and straight. Drop your bottom back, and you should feel a really nice stretch through your groins. Beautiful. The next one from there is stretching out your groin a little bit more. And we're gonna take your leg out to the side. I'll just get onto the mat. And from there, you're gonna drop your bottom back. And then slowly come forward. You should feel a really nice stretch through your groin. An important muscle when it comes to trying to open up and mobilize your hips. With this one, we're just gonna drop back into it and then slowly come forward. And again, do about half a dozen. Beautiful. And that's a nice little series you can do to help stretch out your hips, get your hips feeling a little bit looser.